Hey Flowist, Mike here, and I wanna welcome you to this tutorial on our beast activation and beast activation with limb lifts. Okay, let's break it down. Whenever we set up for a beast activation, we wanna first start in something we call a six-point baby crawl alignment. So in six-point baby crawl, we have our hands shoulder width, we have our knees and our feet hip width and the tops of the feet on the ground. Now it's also important to mention that we're going to bring our knees a little bit in front of the hip line. And one way we can gauge this is by bringing one of our fingers to our umbilicus or belly button and then dropping a straight line down to the ground. That should be roughly where our knees intersect. Another way we can check our alignment is we bend the elbows back, bring our knees up to meet the elbows, and then we press back up to our six point baby crawl position. Just be aware that since everybody has a different body, whenever you do that self-check, you may find that your knees are too far in front of your hips. So just remember, the goal is to bring them just in front of the hip line. Okay, so let's get back to our six-point baby crawl. All right, from here, if we want to activate our beast position, all we're gonna need to do is tuck the toes underneath from here, we're going to corkscrew the arms, and all that means is that I'm going to bring the pit of the elbow forward by outwardly rotating from the shoulder joint. And then from here, I'll pull in the belly button, so I'll perform like a vacuuming maneuver. And then I'll try to get some gluteal tension here, and I'll lift the knees one inch from the ground. Now I've transitioned from my six-point baby crawl to beast. From here, we're going to get into our limb lifts. Whenever we lift the hand and the foot off of the ground, we're going to lift it just high enough to slide a piece of paper, which just means the shortest distance from the ground possible. So if I begin my limb lifts with my feet, I'm gonna lift my right foot the shortest distance from the ground. And the way that I gauge that is by really paying attention to how far my big toe is from the floor. All right, so I'm gonna exaggerate it just a little bit so that you can see the space. Let's say I'm in beast. Corkscrew the arms. I wanna make sure my knees are in their correct alignment. Knees and feet are hip width, hands are shoulder width. I tuck under, I draw in the abdominal wall, get some glute tension, lock in my corkscrew and lift my knees one inch from the floor. From here, if I wanna lift my right foot off the ground, I lift just high enough to where I can slide a piece of paper underneath of my toe, but my big toe is still as close to the ground without touching as possible. And drop down. From here, I would do the exact same thing with the left foot, lifting it just high enough to slide a piece of paper. The goal here is that I don't want to distort the original alignment. So I wanna try not to shift, rotate, or deviate from my beast position. All right, now if I wanna make that a little bit harder, I can try to go into the hand lift. So I'm gonna reposition myself just slightly so you can see the hand. Whenever I lift the hand off the ground, same thing, high enough to slide a piece of paper. I wanna keep the elbow straight and I wanna lift from the shoulder blade. So I'm gonna think about bringing my shoulder blade up towards the sky whenever I lift the hand off the ground. Watch this. My hands are shoulder width, my knees and my feet are hip width. I activate, I try to lift right hand off the ground without shifting, rotating, or deviating, keeping it just high enough to slide a piece of paper. And then I drop down. Okay, last progression. I'm going to go into something known as a contralateral lift. That's just a big word for opposite hand and foot, which means I'm going to lift my right hand and my left foot off the ground at the same time, both of them just high enough to slide a piece of paper. Okay, watch this. Set beast, right hand, left foot lift. Trying not to deviate from the original alignment. Trying to keep that hand and big toe as close to the ground without actually touching while I'm keeping my knee one inch from the floor. Okay team, there it is. Your beast activation and your beast activation with limb lifts. Just be aware that whenever you transition from the feet to the hands, it will be significantly more challenging. So take your time with the limb lifts. Good luck on your journey and I'll see you real soon.